Shortly after the series of crimes against his nation, Atahualpa decided to meet the Spaniards. From Cajamarca, he sent a messenger to Pizarro, inviting the white newcomers to visit his camp. It was reported that the emperor had several thousand guards, but the most striking was the beautiful golden decoration of his chambers. Pizarro understood that treachery was the only way to defeat the Inca and didn't hesitate to make use of it. Thus, on November 16th, Atahualpa was captured and thousands of his followers were massacred by Pizarro's troops who numbered fewer than 200. When the Inca realized the Spaniards lusted for gold, he offered Pizarro an incredible, fantastic, unprecedented deal. He promised to fill a large room with gold and two smaller rooms with silver in exchange for his freedom. Pizarro agreed. Messengers came from throughout the empire to fill the rooms with treasures. The most conservative estimate placed the plunder at six tons of gold and twice as much silver. It took months to melt the beautiful golden jewels down and turn them into pesos. Francisco Pizarro alone obtained more than 300 kilograms of gold. The royal treasury received the fifth part of the total. That is over a ton of gold and two and a half tons of silver.